Hello, my name is Peter van Eyck. Welcome to the top 8 cloud security risks according to ENISA. ENISA is the European Network Information Security Agency and in 2009 it compiled an analysis of cloud security risks and benefits. This is still relevant and is used as a component of the Certificate of Cloud Security Body of Knowledge and by several bank authorities worldwide as a reporting format for banks. You can download it for free. Not in any particular order, but here is the first risk. Loss of governance. This is when the cloud provider does not commit in the service agreement to do a task that needs to be done but cannot be done by the consumer. An example would be security updates of software that the cloud provider runs. This can cause the service to fall short of what is required. Lock in to a particular provider. Once a server is in use, it may be quite hard to move to a different provider for a similar service. This will have bad consequences when the provider no longer delivers acceptable service. Pooling resources with other customers is an essential characteristic of cloud computing, but it can lead to the risk of isolation failure. Here are two ways in which this can be damaging. Data might leak from one consumer to another, which is a confidentiality risk, or one consumer might use up all available capacity, such as bandwidth, leaving no capacity for other consumers. Compliance risks. Lots of organizations have high compliance requirements, such as when they handle credit card or healthcare data. The cloud provider may not be willing or able to deliver the right evidence for demonstrating this compliance. Control over the cloud provider is typically done through a management interface that is accessible over the internet. This means that this control could also be exploited by malicious agents. For a lot of data, there are legal obligations on how it should be handled. Examples include personally identifiable data and data on certain business transactions. It may be hard to check that this is being done in the proper way and there may be data breaches that go unnoticed. This can lead to serious legal penalties. Insecure or incomplete data deletion. Security policies may require a deletion of data after a certain period of time. Cloud providers typically share physical storage over many customers. Physical hard disk destruction will then not be possible. This makes it harder to be really sure the data is deleted. Malicious Insider Because of the high concentration of IT resources at a cloud provider, a malicious insider can have a very high impact on the confidentiality of data, for example. Such insiders could be system administrators, but also auditors and security staff. If you want more information, I suggest that you read the document to get more detail on more cloud risks. If you want to demonstrate your understanding of these risks, have a look at the CCSK Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge. And for more information, you can go to these websites, www.clubcloudcomputing.com and www.ccsk.eu for an upcoming schedule of training. Thank you.